Farmway Center Tiger Basketball on KCLY is brought to you in part by Farmway Co-op, Geisler Roofing and Home Improvement, Ray's Apple Market, Patterson's Health Mart Pharmacy and Radio Shack, United Bank and Trust, Hanson Ford of Clay Center, and Central Valley Ag. Well, good evening from the Tigers in Rocky Downing, along with our studio engineer, Bernie Fancello. We have Phyllis Casper over at Washington, where the Washington County Tigers are in action tonight as well. And the boys' two-way basketball floor semifinals here. The Clay Center Tigers getting set to face the Concordia Panthers. The winner will get Smoky Valley tomorrow night at 7.30. Smoky Valley uh, was very close to the entire first half with Chapman. They hit a three-pointer before the buzzer at the end of the first half with lead by three and then really stretched it out in the uh, third period and on into the fourth, and we come away with a double-digit win. Smoky Valley moves on to tomorrow night's championship. The winner of this one will get the Smoky Valley Vikings tomorrow night. Clay Center Concordia, the national anthem about to be performed. We'll take a timeout, have the anthem, then we'll bring you back with a look at the starting lineups here from the den right after this. Whether you're going to spend your time on the golf course, jetting off to some popular vacation spot, or simply spending time with your family, it's time to start saving for that nest egg. And United Bank and Trust can help you do that with an IRA. Offering a full line of IRAs, United Bank and Trust has trained professionals to help you begin planning for your future. On the course, on the road, or at home. United Bank and Trust, banking for your way of life. Member FDIC. Imagine having someone help you pick the best corn hybrids for every field on your farm. Thanks to a new Oldie soil-specific seed online service, your Oldie representative can combine your data with his data to offer a field-by-field prescription. Customize every acre with the highest potential hybrid based on soil types, straight package needs, disease threats, and agronomic preferences. Valuable data can also be shared with trusted suppliers. Contact Oldie Seed today at 877-692-4555. Get Pulse Gigabit Internet from Twin Valley and make the whole house happy. Think about all the devices and Internet activities in your house on a typical day. They probably add up to a lot more total broadband usage than you even had a year or two ago. If your speed is slow, you may be experiencing annoying slowdowns such as video buffering. Twin Valley Pulse can solve your problem. Call Twin Valley to sign up for Pulse Gigabit Internet and get it free for 60 days. Don't wait. Call today. During the season of Lent, Ray's Apple Market goes all out to bring you fresh ocean fish every Thursday and Friday. This seafood is never frozen, packed on ice, and shipped here to you, ready to grill, bake, or fry at home. The featured catch of the day will change from week to week, so you can enjoy a variety of delicious fresh seafood. From now until Easter, take advantage of this opportunity for fresh fish every Thursday and Friday at Ray's Apple Market. Back once again in the den, we bring you the starting lineups for Concordia. Manny Mares, 6.5 points a game. He hit those four three-pointers last Tuesday when Concordia held off the Tiger team that led until inside three minutes left of the game. He's a 5'8 senior. Billy Bouchard, three points a game, a 5'11 sophomore. Ethan Bouchard, five points a contest for the Panthers, a 6'6 senior. 6'4 junior Ian Nordell, 11.6 points, 6.7 boards, and Cooper Holmes still climbing the all-time scoring list. 27 points a game this year. The 6'4 senior, 8.9 rebounds a game. For the Tigers, they're playing shorthanded. Ethan Rosine, we knew, was out. Talked with him earlier before the game here. Heart just goes out to a senior that's worked so hard this season to play this game and now has to sit here on uh, with the semifinals of Substate. But Ethan Rosine in street clothes, as is Dalton Altizer. He has lymphomangitis, and so will be out for the evening as well. The Tigers start with Lane Libby, 10.4, a game of 6'4", senior, 4.4 boards, 2.5 assists. Mason Alford gets the start tonight. 6'1", junior, can hit it from beyond the arc. Caleb Siebold, 6 points and 3.2 boards, a game of 6'0", senior. Morgan Chestnut, 4 points a game, 2.8 boards, a 6'0", senior. And Parker Folks gets the start tonight. 5'11", five, five, and a junior. He's averaging at one and a half points a game. I know Flip Casper's over in Washington County. They're almost on the exact time schedule. We are, as far as tip-off, we'll continue to keep you posted as Washington County tonight matches up with Solomon for a chance to try to post the sub-state championship tomorrow night. We know the Valley Heights Lady Mustangs are already through. The winner of this game will uh, get a chance, or the winner of that game in Washington County will match up tomorrow night, and that will be against Sacred Heart, who won earlier this evening. Tigers open up tonight in the home 
Jim, but in the visiting Tiger Orange, as they are the lower seed here against the Concordia Panthers, we are underway Concordia with the basketball to begin. Bouchard goes right baseline. Here's Cooper Holmes for three early. No good. Rebound weak side. Lane Lightning rips it down. And the Tigers have the basketball. Down court quickly. Allberg, three-pointer to start. Boom! The junior ferries it on the left wing. And Mason Allberg puts the Tigers on top here. Three zip. That's his third three of the year. He's only attempted seven. Drills this one from the left wing to start. Concordia in the front court. Bouchard the drive. He's tripped up on the way in. They'll call a foul on Caleb Siebold. It'll be his first and the first whistle of the game. And the Tigers open up with a 3 nothing start as Mason Allberg knocked down the triple on that left wing and deep. And he's got some good range to give him a chance to set. I said it in the opening with the starting lineups. He can knock it down. And he did there to start the ball game. Here's Concordia at the free throw line. It'll be Ethan Bouchard to shoot two. And he gets the first one to crawl in there. And Concordia cuts the lead to 3-1. to one. Smoky Valley won earlier over Chapman, and Bouchard knocks down both free throws. The Tigers a one-point lead. Lane Lively will bring it the other way for the Tigers. Play center playing without, as mentioned, Ethan Rosine, and also without the work of Dalton Altizer. Now, Siebel drives the paint, and he draws the foul. He's headed to the stripe. The one-man press will tip the free throw line after a great clear out on the left side. The dribble drive gave him the chance to draw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Seabold at the stripe for the Tigers. The senior first free throw is short. Lady Tigers, we know, will play at 6 p.m. tomorrow evening, and they will take on Chapman for a chance to move on to the state championships. It'll be in Emporia. Here's Seabold, second free throw. This one goes in. Seabold, one of two at the line. The Tigers have a 4-2 lead. And Cordy get back the other way. Bichard out deep to Holmes. Back to Bichard, right wing and deep. Tigers in the zone. Back out top, Holmes, right back to Bouchard. Seabold pressuring there, left wing is Morris. He was huge in the game last Tuesday against the Tigers. They jumped out to an 8-0 lead and kept the lead until three minutes left, inside of three left in the game. Dump down low, Nordell with the bucket for two. We're tied at four. Ian Nordell averages 11.6 a game, knocks down his first bucket here. Bouchard to get speed from the wing. Here's Seabold outside, importing the man-to-man. Seabold the dribble. Started by Bouchard. Now spins toward the paint, takes it inside over Nordell, and a lot of contact, no foul calls. Holmes brings down the board. Tied at four, Concordia the possession. Bouchard, dribble drive, stops in the mid lane, floater up and good. Ethan Bouchard has four, the Tigers trail 6 4. Lane Lively, oh, good look inside. Chestnut, ball fake, takes it strong and drops it in. Big Mo ties it at six apiece. 6 08 to work here in the opening period. It's Kelly Williams wanting a timeout. He couldn't get the official's attention. And he's actually the official started to whistle it and then had to stop when he realized Concordia was almost at a mid-court stripe. Here's Billy Bouchard out top. Works toward the lane. Kick out. Tipped by Lane Lighty out of bounds to Concordia on the sideline. Coach Kelly Williams wants the timeout. 5.49 to work first quarter. Let's send it over to Washington. Check in with Flip Casper. All right, Rock, thanks. We're just three minutes into the ball game. Washington trails 1-5-4. Very fast-paced game. Two teams that like to run. We're going to see that all night long from both. 5-4 early. Long three from Washington County. No good. It is 5-4, Solomon. All right, Flip, as always, we appreciate it. Tied at six here. Tigers with 5.49 to work in the opening quarter. Taking a 30-second timeout was Coach Kelly Williams. And so both teams in their T.O. right now. Odd to see the Tigers here at home, as mentioned, in the visiting orange, but maybe good vibes for the Tigers here at home to wear the visiting uniform. 6-6 tie. Basketball belongs to Concordia on the sideline right in front of the Tigers on the visiting bench. Mason Alberg gets the three to start. It'll be Seabold. A free throw. Here's a drive by Holmes. Gets inside and drops it in, and it's... 8-6 to six now. The Tigers trail by a bucket. Holmes' first points. He had 25 against Clay Center in the last meeting. 30-plus in the first time they met in Concordia. He averages 27 a game. Here's Siebel. Wing right. Lane Leiby. Spins toward the paint. Cut off. Now double team. Holmes with a reach in. No, they call it jump ball. And it'll be a possession to Clay Center on the baseline. The Tigers get it. Well left of the glass near the corner. 
on the baseline to inbound. 8-6, Panthers a lead by two. Mason Allberg to bring it in play. Looks low. Now needs to get it somewhere. Lobs it out deep. Goes to the backcourt to Seabull. No problem there. The Tigers take over with 5.21 to work. Down by two. Caleb Seabull watches it to the midcourt strike. Guarded by Mares. Picks up his dribble. Needs help. Gets it to Libby. Lane Libby out deep. Well beyond the arc. Backdoor look. Morgan Chestnut inside. Drops another one in. Big Moe's got a couple of buckets. The feed from Magic Libby. And we're tied at eight. 5.01 to work here, opening period. Concordia with the basketball. Nordell trying to post low. Bouchard has it out deep. Mares, three pointer. He's hot again. He hit four against the Tigers in the opening meeting, or the last meeting, I should say, it's Tuesday. Now the lob down low for Chestnut against Nordell. Takes it strong. No. Rebound. Batted around to the baseline. Saved in. Chestnut grabs the save in. Nordell was trying to throw it off of Chestnut. Now Livey. Long range three, no. The rebound to Billy Bouchard, weak side. Tigers trail by a triple, 11-8. Bouchard in the lane, kick out. Holmes, three-pointer on its way. No, strong. Weak side board. Bouchard gets it from Seabold. Long balance game right to Bouchard. Here's Holmes against Pokes. Spins in the lane. He traveled. No, foul called. This will go against Lane Livey on help side defense. And they call this on the shot. Wow. Two free throws for Cooper Holmes. Holmes with two points to the game. The Tigers trail by three, 4-16 to work first quarter. First free throw rattles in for Cooper Holmes, one of the leading scorers in the state of Kansas, top 15 through his career, 2,000-plus points in his career. That foul was called against the well, correction. They called this on Morgan Chestnut, not Lane Leiby, so it's Chestnut's first. And Cooper Holmes knocks in both free throws. He has four. The Tigers trail by that margin, 12-8. Dylan Moon in fourth place center. He joins Folks, Leiby, Allberg, and Seabold. Fan the man here by Concordia. Leiby, dribble drive all the way to the paint. And that's going to be a blocking foul on Holmes. He tried to cut it off and take the charge. Leiby did a great job to slide right before he jumped. And Holmes sliding with him. And when you're moving down below trying to draw a charge... Bad news, and Holmes picks up his first. To the free throw line will go Lane Leiby. Leiby had 10 in the last meeting on Tuesday. Knocks in the first free throw here. Tigers down by just a four-point margin, 13-9. It just did correct the scoreboard, so it's still a four-point game. Second free throw up. This one good as well. Leiby knocks them both in. Morgan Chestnut in. Parker Fultz out. Play center within three, 407 to work here in the opening quarter. Playing without Ethan Rosine. And then just before tip off, they found out a few hours before that Dalton Altizer also could not go tonight. Tigers, though, hanging tough here, 13 10. Lob inside, or Holmes, I should say, spins, turns, takes it up in a crowd and drops it in. He has six. It's 15 10. Tigers down by five with the basketball. Libby into the front court to Moon on the wing right deep against Billy Bouchard. Tipped away and out of bounds. That'll stay with play center. Moon will inbound from near the scorer's table. Same officials as last night's Lady Tiger game, so they'll be working the sub-state championship, it appears, throughout. Here's Libby out deep against Ethan Bouchard. Has not used his dribble, now puts it down. Attacks the paint, kick out left baseline. Chestnut thought about a 15-footer, does not take it. Hands it off to Libby. He fakes a three. Now toward the lane. Kick out deep for Allberg, who hit the game's opening three-pointer. Put the Tigers up at that time. Now Clay Center down by five. Here's Allberg out near the timeline. He is checked by Dylan Reed. Allberg the dribble. Starts right. Now back left. Now stops. Deep belt. Gets it off to Dylan Moon. Against Bouchard. Behind the back. 3-0-4 to work. Moon toward the paint. Kick out Leiby. Fakes it, steps in, jump stop, ball fakes again, leans off glass, no, rebound, Siebel, back up inside, good! The one-man press puts the Tigers back within three at 15-12. Siebel, the offensive board, and the stick back good. It's a three-point ball game. Corner right is Reed. Back out deep, Ethan Bouchard. Across left, Mares. Now to Billy Bouchard. Tigers in the zone defense. Ethan Bouchard, triple attack, hangs in the lane and drops it in off glass. He now has six early points, and the Tigers trail by five at 17-12. 2.25 remains opening quarter. Lane Livey with the basketball on top of the dribble. Off right it goes to Moon. 
Dribble down against Billy Bouchard. Starts to attack. Find the back. Now works left. Back right. Five counters on. Needs to go somewhere. Gets it off to Seabull. Caleb. Ball fakes. Now starts to drive. He'll back it out with the dribble. Now back out deep. It comes to Auburn. 2-0-4 to work. First quarter. Tigers down by just five to Concordia. The number one seed here in the substate. The winner gets Smoky Valley tomorrow night at 7.30. Here's Libby with the dribble against Reed. Between the legs, under two to work, first quarter. Tigers down by five. Here's Albert against Mares. Off to Libby, beyond the arc. Looks back door, now to Seabold, right wing, beyond arc. A minute 40 left to work, first quarter. Seabold toward the free throw line, turns and spins. Takes it to the lane, off glass, shot no. Rebound to Holmes. Concordia back the other direction. Leading by five, Billy Bouchard takes the three. Reed to the corner. Mares back to Reed. A minute 21 to work. Ethan Bouchard has it out top. Now Reed to the corner of Marez. To the post. Holmes turns. Goes strong. Puts it up and good. He's got eight. Now play center trailing 19-12. Down court quickly. Seaball attacks the paint. Ball fakes and he is called for traveling. He was cut off by Dylan Reed. Parker folks back in. And I believe we have a timeout on the court. We do. Taken by Concordia. It's a 30-second timeout. That gives us time to check over again to Washington and Flip Casper. All right, Rock, I'll take you to the end of the first quarter here. Ten seconds left. Washington up 8-7. Both teams have gone very, very cold. Washington will go for last shot. McGatlin, baseline, three, and he buries it finally. He was 0 for 4. End of one. Washington up 11-7 on Solomon. All right, Flip, thanks. Here's a minute nine remaining in the opening quarter. It's 19-12. Tigers certainly hanging right in there. But the Panthers do have a seven-point lead right now. 19-12. Tigers led by Mason Allberg and Caleb Siebold, both with three. Morgan Chestnuts, four. Leads the Tigers in scoring, then two points on free throws from Lane Livey. Eight from Cooper Holmes, six from Ethan Deschard, leading the way for the Panthers. 19-12. Tigers down by seven, and it will be Concordia's possession out of a Panther sideline call timeout. Ethan Bouchard looks at a 2-3 zone for the Tigers. Allberg and Moon up top. Chestnut in the middle. Folks and Lane Libby down low. And Bouchard, undefended, unforced turnover, carries the basketball. And Play Center has it back. Down seven. A minute, one left to work. First quarter. Lane Libby brings it across. Left and deep for Dylan Moon. Works right. Now continues that direction. Tried to drop it off toward Parker Folks. Great hustle play by Folks to keep it alive. And play center keeps possession. 46 to work. Allberg out deep against Dylan Reed. 40 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Tigers down by seven. Allberg, five count on. Now backs it away. Keeps the dribble outside against Reed. Off to Livey. 31 seconds to work. Play center trailing here opening quarter. 19-12. Livey. Now against Richard. 24 seconds. Tigers shortening the game a little bit right here. Still connect down, and now we've got a foul away from the basketball. I'm not sure. Is that a five count? Wow, that call came from way across the floor from where Lane Livey was at. That shouldn't be the guy keeping a five count, yet he's the one who whistles it. I mean, Lane Livey's on the far side of the court. That official not waving, so he doesn't know the five count is on, and the far side official... Makes the call. That is uh, bewildering to see that call come from that angle. The Tigers turn it over down by seven. Here's Concordia down to three, to two. Livey to steal with one from half court at the buzzer. Just rims off. We're headed to quarter two. The Tigers trailing 19-12. We'll take a quick timeout. Check in again with Flip Casper right after this. The Citizens National Bank has a long history of supporting the students of our community on the mat, on the court, or in the classroom. Our support doesn't stop when the season is over or the school year ends. We believe in the value of higher education that is building our future leaders of our community and country. CMB offers a student checking. This account will transition you from being a local student to attending the college of your choice. Stop by and talk with one of our CSRs today. The Citizens National Bank, member of FDIC. 19-12, Tigers down seven. Let's send it over to Flip Casper in Washington real quick. All right, Rock, thanks. Just a minute into the second quarter, and Washington County has come alive, particularly Connor Penning, who's back-to-back drives on the baseline. Washington County now up 15-7, just a minute into the second quarter. 
So a very low-scoring, tight game early, and now Washington County starting to stretch it a little bit. They led by four going into the second period. Here, just starting the second, it'll be Concordia's basketball, with the Panthers on top, 19-12. Eight minutes in, Tigers hanging tough here at home against Concordia. Panthers with possession. Ethan Bichard, left wing to Marez. Now corner left. They go down low and to Matthew James. Back around right, Ethan Bichard slides in the lane, shot up off glass, and hacks off the back iron, hung in there, and fell home. He has eight early points. Allberg with it to the post for folks. Parker has it bumped away, and it's taken by Concordia back in the direction, and now leads by nine. Seabold near steel, can't quite save it in bounds. And it'll be Concordia's basketball right in front of the very big and rowdy Tiger student section once again this evening. And we'll keep you posted on what's happening in Washington as well. Here's the Tigers down by nine, just starting the second quarter. 21-12 is the score. Foul called on the inbounds. It goes against Clay Center. It's going to be Concordia's possession on the sideline. Inbounds comes out deep to James. And now in the corner right is Ethan Bouchard. Corner it goes to Cooper Holmes, who has eight. Bouchard also with eight. Ian Nordell back in for the Panthers. Now down low, Holmes slides in the lane. Shot is strong. Rebound batted around. James comes up with it. Now outside to Mares, and he hits another three. Boy, Manny Mares has been unreal for the Panthers. Libby back down court, and he is fouling his way to the lane. And it will be, I think, two free throws coming for Lane Libby. Let's see where the call is. It is on the shot. So Libby will step to the stripe of the Tigers now down by a dozen. Manny Mares had four three-pointers against the Tigers back on Tuesday. That was the difference maker. Play center wins the game if that doesn't happen. Now he's hit two threes already in this one. Lane Leiby's hit three for three at the stripe. It's 24-13. Clay Center down by 11. Second free throw up, and this one's good as well. The Tigers cut it back down to 10, 24-14. Biggest lead has been 12. Down court for Shard. Ethan Bichard with the dribble. Now to the corner. Cooper Holmes attacks the paint. Cut off by Folks. Good defense. Back outside is Bichard. Now down low, Matt James wide open for an easy deuce inside. James first bucket. Tigers trail, 26-14. Allsburg in the corner right to Livy. Backdoor look, Anthony Atkinson. Anything. Good look inside for Chestnut. Ball fake, shot up and good. Chestnut has six. And a timeout taken by Concordia. 26-16. Let's send it over again to Bill Casper in Washington. All right, Rock, thanks. 19-10 now, Washington County. And Conquer Penny is putting on a show right now. Breakaway dunk has put Washington County up by nine. 19 10, four minutes left in the first half. It's a full timeout here. We'll take 30 seconds on top of it. Back to the den after this. Guys, and home improvement. We've got you covered. Did the recent storm cause damage to your roof? Call Geisler Roofing and Home Improvement in Concordia now to have a member of our team provide an estimate to restore your roof. Geisler Roofing and Home Improvement has been replacing and installing commercial and residential roofs for over 35 years. You can trust the Geisler team to get the job done right. 26-16, Clay Center Tigers down by 10 here, battling against the number one seed and state ranked through most of the season. Concordia, who comes in with a record of 12-7, and seven. Tigers with four wins on the year, down by 10. So battling tough, Concordia does have the basketball. How about Morgan Chestnut, Big Mo, the senior, with six early points. That last speed coming on a touch pass from Atkinson Inniking. Concordia with the basketball. Tigers in his own, Livy and Allberg out front, Inniking, Atkinson, Inniking in the middle, and then you have Folks and Chestnut on the baseline. 6.20 to work, first half. Here's Bouchard out deep. Around left, they bring it to Marez. To James in the corner left. High post, free throw line, Billy Bouchard for two, and he drops it there. His first points. Tigers back down by a dozen. 
Lane Lively to the front court. Crossover move by Bouchard. In the lane, hands it off. Chestnut, great patience, draws the foul. Big Mo has eight and a chance at a three-point play. Lane Lively, great give, but the patience of Morgan Chestnut, the head and shoulder fake, got the defender up in the air, let him come down while he was, got the contact, took it off glass, and dropped it in. He's got eight, and he heads to the line. The foul was on Ian Nordell, his first. Chestnut can cut it back to single digits, and he does. He has nine first-half points for the Tigers. 5.59 remains here in the second period. Billy Bouchard, right sideline to Holmes. To the post, Nordell, backdoor look, Holmes inside, and he is blocked by Atkinson in the king. Now the shot up, no. Holmes brings it back down, muscles it up off balance, good, and a chance at a three-point play. Holmes really a wild shot that time. The Concordia fans wanted a foul the first time he took it up on Atkinson Inniking. It was not called. Holmes took a fence to it and got it back up inside, made a really wild shot up and good. And that will give him now 2,145 career points. He needs just 15 to 16 more to move in the 14th place all time. He has been an amazing athlete to watch throughout the years and now with that three point play he answers chestnuts on the other end he has 11 here in the first half 31-19 full court pressure now by the Panthers Tigers down by a dozen Wybie's fouled in the backcourt by Billy Bichard and it will be placed there's basketball on the sideline bad news for the Tigers that last play they had a crowd down low against Holmes but they picked out number 31 that's Morgan Chestnut, and it's his third foul despite him with nine points. He has to come to the sideline here in the first half. Still 535 to work. Here's Livey. Left and deep all bird. Hit a three from the that same spot to open the game. Doesn't look at it here against the Concordia Panther zone. Atkinson in the king. Out top to Livey. Around left all bird. He'll look low. Now back outside to Livey. Around right to Seabold. Caleb. Lane Livey. High post, he was looking for Allberg, got taken away, then right back to Livey. Here's folks inside, and a follow-up dunk from Atkinson Inniking. The Ant-Man goes up and slams the tip in down, and the Tigers right back within 10. And now a missed shot by Concordia, the rebound off to Atkinson Inniking. Down towards Seaball, three ball on its way. Boom! And the Tigers are within seven. It's 31-24. Atkinson Inniking lights up the crowd with a follow-up dunk, and then Seabold drills the triple on the following possession. It's a seven-point ball game, 446 to work. Concordia first forced into a timeout. Let's send it over to Phil Casper once again in Washington. All right, Rock, just 45 seconds left in the first half, 24-14. Washington County with the lead, and Solomon has become very, very aggressive on the floor. But Washington County has gone into almost a stall game. Now a steal by Solomon. 30 seconds left. 24-14, Washington County lead. All right, Flip, thanks. 31-24 here. The Tigers making a run. They've been down by a dozen two or three different times. But Anthony Atkinson inniking the follow-up slam on the rebound tip. And then Caleb Siebel drills a triple the following possession. And the Tigers now right back within seven. And... This crowd was good, but the electricity just went up a notch or two, to say the least, when the Ant-Man slammed it home. 31-24. Concordia's possession. Billy Bouchard works it up the court. Tigers back in a 2-3 zone defense. 438 remains. Lob down low. Atkinson in the game. Maps it away. Albert comes up with it. Tigers back the other direction. Mason Albert gives it off to Livy out top. Four and a half to work. Again, the Tigers playing without Ethan Rosine and Dalton Altizer. There's a good look inside. Seabold. Livy leans in. Can't get the shot. Had a good look. Ethan Bouchard. Pretty good defense now. Atkinson in the team to steal. He'll take it in. He's fouled. They say on the floor. But it will be Claysoner's basketball on the baseline. So Atkinson, any king, showing up. Big minutes here with the dunk we mentioned about. And then two straight steals after a defensive rebound. This one leads to a foul against the Panthers, and the Tigers have it on the baseline. 
looking in low, lobs it out deep, trying to go to Atkinson anything. It's Holmes the other direction. Cooper Holmes takes it strong and lays it in. He now has 11. Correction 13 now for Holmes in the first half. The Tigers trail 33-29 with the basketball. Here's Seabold out top. Caleb calls the play against Dylan Reed. Works it left toward the sideline. Kick out to Lane Leiby. Now off to Auburn. Mason against Billy Bouchard. Hands it off to Atkinson Inneking. It's going to be off of the Panthers Bouchard. It will stay with play center on the sideline. Dylan Moon checking in now for the Tigers. 3.49 to work, second quarter. Again, Washington County leading here in the second quarter over in Washington. We'll check back in with Flip when we have the opportunity. Here's Allberg trying to get it in somewhere. Now lobs it out and gets it to Seabold. Now the ball stripped and taken away by Holmes. The drive down court. Cooper Holmes laying good. He has 15 now. And the lead back out to double digits, 35-24. Tigers with two straight turnovers forced by Cooper Holmes. Here's Allberg left on the wing to Moon. Dylan Moon toward the lane. Stops, kick out, trying to go to Allberg. Miscommunication. The Tigers turn it over. And it goes back the other direction with place that are trailing here, 35-24. 3.26 left here in the second. Concordia brings it up the floor. Bouchard, right wing and deep Holmes. To Ethan Bouchard, lob left, Dylan Reed. He'll take the three up, and no. Long rebound, though, to Bouchard. It's Billy Bouchard outside to Ethan. A hill attack, cut off by Siebel. Kick out, Billy Bouchard takes the three. Dribble penetrates, hangs in the air, shot is short. Rebound tipped, loose. Holmes comes up with it. He is fouled by Folks. Good foul by Parker Folks, although Holmes certainly a very good free throw shooter. Dylan Moon had a good beat on that basketball on the Rebound and Holmes just able to bump and take it away. And now he finds himself with a stripe. The foul called. Well, he thought it was on Parker Folks. They have Mason Alberg as the call for it. And now they do put Folks' number up. Holmes at the line, knocks in the first. He has 16 first half points. Atkinson, anything back in for the Tigers. Moon will check out. Livy, Allbird, Folks, and Seabold on the court. Holmes made the first. Second free throw also good. He has 17 now. Three minutes left, first half, 37-24. Livy in the front court with it. Man to man, five count is on. Needs to go somewhere. Now gives it off out deep to Caleb Seabold against Holmes. All the way to the paint with the right hand. Laying is good. Caleb Seabold now has eight in the first half. Correction. Yes, eight points in the first half, and it's back to an 11-point game, 37-26. 2.33 left, second quarter. Lob inside to Ian Nordell. Caught below the bucket. He is blocked out of bounds. Boy, Lane Livey thought that went off of Holmes, or Nordell, I should say. The official didn't see it. Atkinson Inneking blocked it. He says it went off of Livey, the official, but that went off of Nordell, so the Panthers get a break. Now Nordell gets the inbounds and an easy deuce inside. And the lead back out to 13. 39 26. Tigers with the basketball. Blaine Livey has it out deep against Ethan Bouchard. Man to man. Five counters on. Now he breaks it. Works it right on the wing toward the baseline. Stops. Seabold trying to post. Out top it comes to Caleb. Now to Atkinson Inneking. Left wing against Holmes. Drop back outside to Mason Alburn. Caleb Seabold has it against Dylan Reed. Under two to work, and he's bumped. That'll be the 16th foul now on both sides. A minute 56 to work first half. Tigers trailing here by 13, but battling against the number one seed. Lane Leiby will inbound to the wing right, Albert. Mason dribbles back outside, now stops, hands it off to Lane Leiby. 39-26, a minute 46 to work. Leiby baseline drive against all. Great look across paint. Magic fits Big Daddy and Parker Folks. With his first bucket. And it's 39 28. The Tigers back again within 11. Now a steal. Folks has it. Off to Livy. Tigers down court. In the corner. Albert, good look for three. It is first one. Short this time. It's fouled. And Mason Albert's going to shoot three free throws. Albert hit his first three of the game. Now Dylan Reed calls for the touch after 
the release of Mason Allberg, and he'll get three free throws. A minute 27 to work, Tigers down by 11 and battling here at home in the den against Concordia. Allberg will shoot three free throws. Now the scores table, talking with the official right now, and I'm not sure what conversation is about. The foul on Dylan Reed, his second. 39-28 with a minute 27 to work here in the second quarter. And the official score, the scorebook, is having a conversation with the official. It's still the three free throws coming for Mason Allberg. I'm not real sure what they were discussing over there. Allberg at the line to shoot three. It's halftime over at Washington. And the first free throw for Allberg is in. He has four points now. The Tigers down by ten. Halftime, Washington County leads 29-14 at the halftime break. Allberg, second free throw rims off. All but in the jar. Trying to get it back to single digits is Mason Allberg, who has four points. One more free throw coming. A minute 27 to work here in the second quarter. Tigers hanging tough. And Allberg short here. Rebound to Holmes. Concordia with it, leading by 10. Panthers down court. Ethan Bouchard against Seaball. Backs it out. Hands it off now to Holmes. Right back to Bouchard. Now to Holmes in the corner. Dribble penetrates. Takes it strong. We've got an offensive foul on Cooper Holmes. Atkinson Inneking draws the charge. Holmes will pick up his second foul, and the Tigers get it back here, 39-29. In will come Matthew James, and Coach Rowe for Concordia is going to protect his star. Holmes with the two fouls will come to the sideline. Lane Livey will walk it up the floor. Tigers down by just 10, 39-29, a minute six to work. Livey looks corner right, now works that way with the dribble. Seabold trying to post, can't get it. Skip pass left to Albert. Top of the key to Folks. Back right it comes to Livey. Takes the three. Now back to Folks. Triple penetrate. Stops. Trying to kick it outside to Seabold. And a full-fledged dive by Seabold. They say he hit the half-court strike. Wow. It was not by much if he did. The official was right on top of the play. But you want to talk about... Coach Williams saying in the pregame that maybe some of the guys would give a dive to the four for in honor of Ethan Rosine, who does that kind of work. Of course, Caleb Siebel's been doing that his entire career. What an effort. Just got to it. He saved it back to a teammate, but as he made the pass, they say his hand caught the half-court strike, which makes it an over-and-back ball. So Concordia is still with a 10-point lead, and they're going to milk it down to the final shot here with 32 seconds left to work in the first half. In there at halftime, Washington County is leading at the halftime break over Solomon. That score is 29-14, Washington County. 20 seconds here, Concordia by 10. Tigers have gone man-to-man. Danny Mares looks to the sideline. He's out at the half-court line with 12 seconds. Now they put the play in motion to Ethan Bouchard. Dribble penetrates to the baseline. Pulls up from 10 and can't get it down. Rebound, knocks it out of bounds. That'll be off, they say, of Adam Ebert, who just checked in. He was able to keep it alive. And Cordy, though, got it tipped and then off of Ebert. 4.3 seconds left. And Cordy is still by 10. They'll inbound. The lob out top to James. Two, one, ball loose. Tomorrow has three-pointer. Good if it goes off glass and no. Headed to halftime. The Tigers within 10 of Concordia. The number one seed It's 39-29. We'll take a timeout. You're listening to Tiger Basketball on 100.9. Timing is everything on wheat fertilizer. It can maximize both yield and nutrient use efficiency, thereby increasing net profit for the producer. At Wilbur Ellis and Reed Seed and Feed, we offer a complete line of fertilizer and herbicides best suited for your fields. Timely control of weeds can limit soil moisture loss to weeds and prevent the deposit of more weed seeds in the soil, two factors that can benefit the next crop's yield. Our field specialists Brent, Allen, Darren, Kent, Mike, and Kenny at Wilbur Ellis and Reed Seed and Feed are here and ready to help you. Giving back to the community has special meaning for us at Union State Bank. 
We are proud to help support special projects like the local zoo expansion to enhance the quality of life for all citizens. Union State Bank supports the community in a variety of worthwhile projects and youth activities. As the only locally chartered bank in Clay County, our home, like yours, is in this community. It's all about neighbors helping neighbors, and Union State Bank is a neighbor the community can count on. Union State Bank, member FDIC. 39 29 ball game here. The Tigers down by 10. Scoring leaders, Cooper Holmes leads all scores with 17. Ethan Bichard with 8 for the uh, Panthers. 6 for Manning Mares on two three pointers. The Tigers have 9 for Morgan Chestnut, but he got in foul trouble, has 3 fouls. Caleb Siebold with eight. Four points from Lane Livey, all at the stripe. Four points from Mason Allberg. And then two each from Anthony Atkinson, Inniking, and Parker Folks. The Tigers hanging strong. They trail 39-29. We are at the halftime break. Let's send it over and get some live look-ins with Phil Casper in Washington. All right, Rock, thanks. Connor Penning at the line right now, shooting two. Missed his first. Second one on the way. That one good. Penning now with nine points, 30 to 14, Washington County with the lead. The end of that uh, first half uh, ended with a bang. I'll let you know what happened in that in just a minute. Solomon now with the ball working it, taken away by Taylor Metz. Washington County back with possession. But Gatlin now caught. He does get it away to Thompson back across the timeline to McGatlin. McGatlin out on the right wing. Man to man defense from Solomon. Up top two, Nathan Welch, right wing, McGatlin. McGatlin has one three in the game. Now Thompson is going to drive lane, floater off glass, yes. And Cole Thompson now with his six points, and it is 32 to 14. Washington County, after a slow start, really fired it up in that second period. Solomon now with the basketball, six and a half left in the third. 32 14, Washington County with the lead. Solomon working it. Washington County in a 2-3 zone. Now right wing to Solomon. That's Milbert. He'll dribble back up top to foul. He's going to reset. Solomon really, really out of their game right now. Now top of the key. Thought about three was Milbert. No, he'll kick it back to Webb. He's going to drive. On the right elbow, kick it back up top. Now a three from Webb, in and out. Good rebound by Thompson. Here comes Washington County in transition again, and now a foul is going to be called on Solomon as Thompson and Webb got tangled up in midcourt, help each other up, and each gives the other one a pat. We're good to go. Thompson now will set the offense. He'll hand it back to Welsh. Right wing McGowan. McGowan starts to drive. Now he's going to bring it back. Now he'll go back low. Cross force Thompson on the baseline inside the Penning. That's going to be taken away. Ty Solomon tried to force a pass into Connor Penning. Probably should have hang on to that one. Now a long three. Jake Tiernan misses, and he is that is well within his range. He's hit two. Here comes Thompson, other end. In transition, McGowan. He's going to back it out. Smart move by McGowan, and now Solomon trying to steal the basketball. That'll go out of bounds to Washington County. Dawson Miller on the final play of that second period got loose and drove the lane for two and then with two seconds left on the inbound knocked the ball away, recovered it, and falling into the stand hit a three as the buzzer sounded. He took the shot from out of bounds. Now a timeout on the floor. Let's take a 30-second timeout. 32-14, Washington County lead when we come back. You need your tires to perform several duties for safe, everyday driving. From grip, control, longevity, and fuel economy, Hanson Ford features an excellent line of tires. Choose from Goodyear, Hankook, Pirelli, General, and more. Buy four select tires and get up to an $80 rebate by mail. Trust Hanson Ford to provide you with a top-of-the-line tire selection. Their tires deliver every performance feature, so you never have to settle for less. See Hanson Ford in Clay Center for tires and rebates. Out of the timeout, 523 left in the third. We'll get you back to Rocky Downing at the Clay Center Tigers as soon as they're ready. There's still about five minutes until they get the third quarter underway. Washington County now will inbounds. It'll be Thompson. 
looking. Now finds McGatlin on the baseline. On the right side, he's trapped by Tiernan. Does get it away to Metz. Metz kicks it back out. McGatlin, right wing. Do well, top of the key. Down low, Thompson pinning on the baseline. Drive, spins in the lane, off flash, short. Rebound, fought for. That's going to be out of bounds. That should be Washington County basketball. This was look at each other. Nope, they'll, nope. They'll say Solomon. Now they'll get it right. And that, that I think, is the right call. One official ran in and overruled the other one. It will be Washington County basketball. That's right in front of us. Inbound. Pinning up strong off glass. Oh, that's Taylor Metz, and he picks up his six points. And it's 34-14, and Washington County has really found a rhythm here. Now, earlier, Sacred Heart all over Bennington, up by 33 at one point. They win 69-40, so the winner of this will take on Sacred Heart tomorrow night at 7.30 for a shot at the sub-state title. Solomon with the basketball. Long three ball from Webb on the right wing. Good rebound. Taylor Metz went up around the rim, pulled it down. Now McGallan quickly down. Back to Thompson. McGallan, right wing, shows three. He'll dribble in. 20-footer off the mark. That may have been partially blocked. Back to Solomon. That's Tiernan. Baseline, other end. Inside, he gets to Mayer off glass. That won't go. Rebound spot four and a foul is going to be called on the way down on Solomon. Just the third team foul, so that'll go out of bounds to Washington County. Thompson sets the inbound. Dodd Miller will come in for Welsh. Miller with eight points in that second period. Now full court press on from Solomon. Thompson gets it into Penny. Penning holds. Now midcourt, he goes to Metz. Back to Thompson, to McGatlin, to Thompson, to Penning across the timeline. Penning at the stripe, backs it out. Now left wing, Miller. He backs it out. Inside, Thompson in the lane, off glass. Good, good look from Thompson Miller to Cole Thompson. And it's 36 14. 3.48 left in the third. Again, we'll get you back to Clay Center just as soon as they're ready for second half action. Clay Center scrapping their way in that one. Very shorthanded tonight. Long three ball now from Solomon. Chris Haynes, that's well off the mark. Down court. McGatlin, he's going to go all the way off last way and good. Kyle McGatlin, his seventh point, and it is 38-14, and now Solomon wants to talk about it. 319 left in the third. It's a 38-14 Washington County lead when we come back. Take control of your farm with Bay Station 3 from Valley Irrigation. Bay Station 3 is the most state-of-the-art irrigation management system available, giving you unprecedented control over your operation. Manage all of your irrigation equipment anytime, anywhere. Experience the innovation and reliability you expect from Valley. See Republican Valley Irrigation or call 632-5588. Three nineteen left in the third, 38-14. Just about a minute from second half action in Clay Center. Again, Rocky let us know when they're ready to go here. Washington County in the driver's seat right now. Up 24, they lead 38-14. And Solomon yet to score in this second half. Washington County has come out 9-0 to start the third period. Tiernan now right wing. He's going to bomb a three. That's going to go out of bounds, well off the mark. And possession back to the Tigers. The Washington County basketball. Solomon will stay in the press. Washington County, not much problem with this yet. Penny to match to McGatlin across the timeline. Again, they break it pretty easily. Washington County doing a really good job. Ball handling and being patient. 2.57 left in the third. Washington County up. 38-14. They're ready in Clay Center. Rocky, take it away. All right, Flip, thanks. We'll keep you posted on what Washington County has going again, leading big there in the third quarter. Here the Tigers open up the basketball down just 10, 39-29. Mason Allberg out deep to Livey around right to Seabold. Chestnut back in there. He had nine first half points before foul trouble and also Parker Folks on the floor. Here's Livey between the circles up top and Concordia now in a 2-3 zone. They went to that in the second quarter. Tigers been zoned throughout. 
Play center with the basketball. Here's Allberg, corner left to Parker Folks. Ball fake, starts to drive, caught in the crowd. Now in the corner to Libby. Out top to Seabull. Ball fake, starts to take in the paint. Now kicks it back outside to Libby. Tigers down by 10 with the basketball. Here's Allberg right away. Mason out deep for Libby. Corner right, it goes to Chestnut. Morgan, skip pass across. Seabull's got to look for three. His strong. Hit his first one of the night. This one was all on line, just hit the back iron. Down court quickly. Mares in the corner. He's in the shark. Skip pass to Cooper Holmes. Holmes backs it out. Now skip pass right corner. Mares, another three try. This one's short. Rebound lane. Ivy brings it down to the Tigers, who trail by 10 here, 39-29. But again, back with the basketball. Livy, left wing to Seabull. Caleb holds outside, down by 10. Tigers, though, with the possession here, early third quarter. Mason Alvert, short corner right, Chestnut. Morgan looks low. Now back outside for Livy. In Concordia, 2-3 zone. Seabull, left wing. Mason Alvert to Folks. Parker back out top. His pass batted toward the sideline, and Billy Bouchard can't quite come up with it. It will be Clay Center's possession again on the sideline. Bouchard anticipating, but couldn't quite come up with it. The play center keeps possession down by a 39-29 margin. That was our halftime score. 6.15 to work here in the third. Play center back with the basketball. Here's Seabold. Kicked by Bouchard. And the Tigers will again inbound from the sideline. 6.09 to work, third quarter. Seabold to Livey. Lane left, it comes to Seabold. Uh, Caleb dribble penetrates. Ball batted away for a moment. Seabold picks it back up. Shot off glass with left hand, no. Rebound to Cooper Holmes. Down court, Holmes. Pull-up jumper, free throw line is strong. Rebound to Siebel. Tigers have it back again. Just a 10-point ball game here early in this third period. Livy left to Siebel. Caleb back outside. Livy right side wing. Albert to the corner, Chestnut. Morgan, ball fakes, can't drive. Cut off by Holmes. Down to Livy. Lane in the corner right with a dribble. Backs his way in, out of Chestnut, thought about a three, doesn't take it, and timeout taken by the Tigers sideline. 39-29, we'll take a timeout here. You're listening to Tiger Basketball on 100.9. Good service is hard to come by. If you aren't getting the service you deserve from your propane provider, now is the time to contact Propane Central. You always get more than propane when Propane Central delivers. Competitive pricing, flexible payment and delivery options, 24-7 accessibility, and of course, good old-fashioned customer service. Call today and ask how Propane Central customers earn free gas. Propane Central, need an innovator and friend. 39-29, let's send it over to Phil Casper, where Washington County is rolling right now. Well, rolling may be the understatement of the night, Rocky. 17-0 in this third period, Rocky, with 37 seconds left in the third. We're going to get a running clock in this one. 46-14, to 14, Washington County leading Solomon. Wow, they have turned it on in a big way. It looks like Washington County will meet up tomorrow night with the number one seed, Sacred Heart. But that's that Washington County. I think you combine four losses between the two teams. That should be a dandy tomorrow evening in the late game in Washington. Valley Heights, of course, plays tomorrow night as well against Republic County on the girls' side in that two-way sub-state. Here are the Tigers down by 10, third quarter, scoreless from both teams thus far. We're almost three minutes into the third period. Here's Seabold against Nordell. Cut off. Now needs help to Livy. Lane will back it out. Looks down low. Tried to no-look it inside. Nordell almost took it away. Now it's saved in off of the Panthers chest that near steel on the outlet, but Concordia does have the basketball. Bouchard, free throw line stops to the corner for Combs. Cooper back outside. Bouchard has it. Baseline left, Billy Bouchard. Nearly lost it, gives it away to Mares. Cooper Holmes, dribble attack off to Ethan Bouchard. He's going to be fouled by Seabold on the drive. That's the first foul of this third quarter. Neither team scoring yet. It's 39-29 Concordia down by 10. 441 left to work in this third period. That foul on Caleb Seabold. They say his first. And now Nordell trying to hit it to Ethan Bouchard just throws it away and the Tigers have it back. 39-29. Clay Center down by just 10. So Tigers hanging in there. Here's Lane Livey, right sideline with the dribble. 
Looks in low. Seabold trying to post. Can't get it there. Back outside now. Seabold comes to the top around left to Albert. Bar is out on him. Kind of Seabold. Right side wing is Livy. Skip pass. Parker pokes. Three-pointer on its way. Both shots it down. Big Daddy makes it a seven-point ball game. It's 39-32. Pokes the zone buster that trip. Seven-point game. Holmes the drive, the spin, the hang. No, rebound to Pokes. The Tigers have it back now, down by just seven. Here's Livy in the front court. Tigers with possession. Concordia scoreless. There's 348 remaining third quarter. Lane Livy took a ball fake with a pivot foot, and they say he drug it. Livy with a bit of a chuckle to the sideline because he didn't think he drugged the pivot foot. 39-32. 346 remains third period. Panthers yet to score here in the second half. The Tigers have only hit one bucket, but it was a three-pointer from Pokes. Outside is Billy Bichard. Lob to the right wing, Marez. Ethan Bichard. Jump pass outside. Billy Bichard for three. No. Long rebound. Tracked down by Mason Albert. To Atkinson Inniking. Tigers making a game of this one. Lighty setting up chest at inside, but it was kicked out of bounds by Ethan Bichard. Now Dylan Reed in for Concordia. 3.21 left, third quarter. Tigers down by seven and with the basketball. Lane Livey to inbound. Livey holds. Atkinson inning. Right wing and deep. Goes low inside. Folks, Parker, ball fakes, puts it off. Glass and drops another one in. Folks now has seven, and we've got a five-point ball game here in the third quarter. 3.09 to work. Folks around Cooper Holmes with those two fouls, able to crawl it in over the front iron. Here's Bouchard. Right baseline. Reed lobs it low. Nordell. Cross paint. Holmes caught beneath the bucket. Can't get it off to Bouchard. Skip pass right. Reed. Now he stops. Scoops it off to Ian Nordell. Nordell spin move to the baseline. In low. Defended by Atkinson. Inniking and Nordell somehow got it up through. And in, it's 41-34. Here's Lane Leiby with 2.35 to work. Tigers down by seven with the basketball. Leiby off to Allbird, right wing against Reed. Only one foul called in this third quarter. That was against the Tigers. Leiby with possession, down by seven. Folks hit his last three. Just rims out this one, the rebound to Nordell. Concordia down court, Reed takes it up inside. Swatted by Leiby. Magic Livey swats it and takes it away. Atkinson Inniki, left wing, to the baseline short. Chestnut, ball fake, takes it up in the crowd, no. Rebound off to Nordell. Lob down court, Cooper Holmes against Livey. Leans goes through him. No, they call this a blocking foul. And they'll say two free throws to Cooper Holmes. They call this on the shot they did. So Cooper Holmes will get to the stripe. He had 17 first half points. Concordia, with a minute 55 to go here in the third, has scored just one field goal. Holmes at the line now makes it three points in the quarter for the Panthers, who lead it now by eight. Atkinson, anything, Chestnut out. Ethan Rosine worked in the sideline along with the coaches. High fives to his teammates. Rosine out tonight. Dalton Altizer are also out this evening. Holmes knocks in the free throw. He is 19 now. 43-34. Tigers down just nine. A minute 55 to work here in the third quarter. Lane Livey will pick it up near half court as it rolls down the floor and now brings it into the front court. Seabold trying to post. Out top it comes to Caleb. Now Seabold back to Livy on the wing right deep to Seabold. Then it's 40 to work. Seabold, corner right, still with the dribble. Now gets it back outside. Livy, it tipped off of Romola, but he drags it in before he goes out of bounds. Now Lane back out deep with the dribble. 43-34, a minute 25 to work. Tigers trailing by just nine. Third quarter, a minute 23 to go. Livy against Ethan Bichard. Five count on, now he starts to attack. Stops, looks low. Look inside for folks. Ball is loose for a moment. Now tied up, and the jump ball arrow belongs to Concordia. Good idea from Livy, but it just got tipped before it rolled on the bounce to Parker Folks. 
43-34. Panthers with possession and a nine-point lead nearing the end of the third quarter. We'll get you an update in Washington County following this quarter break. Just under a minute to go. Here's Holmes inside against Live, and he walked with a basketball. Now they say a foul on Livey pushing him out of the lane. It'll be on the floor. Third team foul against the Tigers. No whistles against the Panthers here in the third period yet. 43-34 ball game. Ethan Bouchard will inbound. That foul on Lane Livey is second. Bouchard looks to lob it in to the free throw line. It goes to Holmes. Corner left, Dylan Reed. Three-pointer up, no. Rebound weak side. That's going to be a foul on Ethan Bouchard. As Seabold and Libby both had position, Bichard tipped it, but had to hit body to do so. 51.7 seconds remaining, third period. Tigers trailing 43-34. Parker Folks gets a breather. On the floor comes Atkinson, Inniking, and Chestnut. Libby, Allberg, and Seabold in the game. 46 to work, Tigers down by nine. Third quarter. Allberg, short corner left is Atkinson and Inniki. Out top, Seabold. Around right, it goes to Allberg. Short corner right is Chestnut. He'll ball fake it. Back to Seabold. Around left to Livey. Further left, Allberg. 30 seconds remains. Corner left is Atkinson and Inniki. Back out top, Seabold. Around right, Allberg. To the baseline, Chestnut. Skip pass left. Here's a three from Livey. It's short. Rebound, Seabold. Buff, lean, shoots. No foul called. And now they get Seabold after the rebound brought down by Nordell. Tough because Seabold was bumped when he got the pass, or the rebound, I should say, then bumped when he took the shot, and then he's called for his second foul after the play was going the other direction. 43 34, 16.8 seconds remains here in the third. Tigers trailing 43 34. Cooper Holmes will bring it up the floor for Tim Cordier. They'll go for a final shot with a nine point lead. Left by 10 at halftime. Holmes, right wing. Drives the paint. Cut off by Folks. Back outside. Five seconds. Bichard for three. Short. Rebound. Holmes gets an offensive board. Puts it up and in. And that will end the third quarter. Tigers will trail by 11. Going to the fourth. It's 45-34. Stay with us. We'll continue with Tiger coverage here from the den right now. Let's send it over to Phil Casper in Washington. Rocky and just about fucked this one with a running clock and benches emptied for Washington County, which in the uh, sub-state semifinals, you can't ask for much more than that. It is 56-21. to 21. Washington County leads this ballgame. 56-21 will be final here in just a minute. All right, Cliff, we appreciate it. Uh, we'll get the final from Phil, and then we'll get you set for what's to come tomorrow night. Still here, another quarter of basketball, and the Tigers still very much a part of this basketball game, trailing 45-34. We'll keep it right here. Do want to let you know tomorrow on KCOY, it starts early. K-State Wildcats finish the regular season, and they will match up on the road at Lubbock against Texas Tech. That'll be a 2 o'clock tip-off. So a 1 o'clock pregame on KCOY tomorrow afternoon. And back here in the den, we'll have the Clayson and Lady Tigers tipping off at 6 p.m. for a trip to state. They take on Chapman. Again, that's at 6. Followed by, well, we'll Certainly keep you posted on uh, Valley Heights Lady Mustangs during the Clayson and Lady Tiger ball game. The second game tomorrow night, still up in the air. Washington County, we know we'll be playing. We'll keep you posted there. May bring it to you live. We'll see what the Tigers can do here in the fourth quarter. We may be with a doubleheader here in the den tomorrow night before it's all said and done. 45-34. Clayson will open with the basketball. Lane Livey, right wing deep to Atkinson in a king. Got a chestnut. Tip pass by Matthew James. Out of bounds. It'll stay with the Tigers on the sideline. Just underway fourth quarter. Clay Center trailing by 11. Allberg to Libby. Corner right is Chestnut. Morgan, dribble penetrates. All the way to the lane. Kick out, trying to go to Libby. Taken away by Cooper Holmes. Chestnut had nine points in the first half early and then ran into some foul trouble. Concordia now with an 11-point lead and back with possession. Billy Bichard against the Tiger 2-3 zone. Goes right baseline to Cooper Holmes. Holmes back out to Marez, around left. He goes to James in the corner. James and Billy Bouchard playing catch. Back to James. Back out to Bouchard. Forty and may force the Tigers' hand to go man-to-man. They're in a 2-3 zone, and now it looks like they will go match up. Billy Bouchard kicks it right on the wing to Marez. 
Cooper Holmes against Atkinson in game. Back out deep to Billy Bouchard. Tigers trail by just 11. 6.58 to work. Playing without Ethan Rosine and without Dalton Altizer. And now a three-point chance inside for Ian Nordell. Lane Livey's going to pick up his third foul. He got up in the air. Nordell just waited for the contact and was able to go up and finish. Nordell with eight now and a chance at a three-point play. 47-34. And Nordell knocks in the free throw, and Concordia is suddenly up by 14. In Washington County, walking through their semifinal against Solomon, here's Mason Albert to the Tigers, to the corner right chestnut, back outside Livy. Atkinson and King left to Mason Albert. Short corner left, folks, looks at the bucket, not there. Fires it back outside, Atkinson and Inking. Right side wing, Livy's got to look for three, just short. Rebound inside, battle for Folks and Bouchard, but it comes to Ethan Bouchard for Concordia. Running clock at Washington for the boys' team in two-way. Shot by Nordell, misses badly, and a travel on James after an offensive rebound. Tigers get it back down 14. 6.22 remains in the fourth. Lane Livy, down court quickly, Albert. Right baseline, it goes to Chestnut. Couple of all fakes, now back to Livy. Out deep to Atkinson in the King. 6.14 to work here in the fourth. Anthony has it out top, bobbled for a moment, saves it back across, but it goes to James, and now a foul on Livy near half court. It'll be the 16th foul on the Tigers, who are the visiting team tonight, even though they're at home, they're the lower seed. So wearing the visiting road orange. Tigers with the turnover. Allberg and Atkinson, anything coming out. Correction, Atkinson, anything will come to the sideline, as will Lane Leiby. Dylan Moon, Caleb Siebold back in, folks. Chestnut and Allberg on the floor. 48-34, Concordia now with a 14-point lead here. Six minutes to work in the fourth. Billy Bouchard cut off by Siebold. He throws it away. Went into the stands, right to coach J.D. Lane. Gives it back to the official. 48-34. Tigers back with it, down by 14 points. 5.55 remains here in the fourth quarter. Drive by Moon, tipped away, picked up by Nordell. And now the Panthers have it back. And Ethan Bouchard will walk it up the floor. And Cordy of the basketball, Tigers and a man-to-man, forced into that man after the Panthers got the lead out to double digits. Billy Bouchard, wild shot in the lane, no good. Ripped down by Parker Folks. Moon down court. Into the front court with a dribble. Off to Parker Folks. He'll attack with a dribble. Left hand lay in is good. Parker Folks with nine tonight and seven of those here in the second half. And it's 48 36. Tigers down by 12. Dealing that time was Big Daddy as he took it to the paint with a left hand behind by a defender. Here's a lob to Nordell against Chestnut. 15 foot pull up is strong. Rebound. Bouchard went over the top. The second team foul now against the Panthers. And the basketball back to the Tigers. Down by a dozen. Super Holmes and Dylan Reed back in. That foul on Ethan Bouchard, his third. So Bouchard comes to the sideline. They are done over in Washington. Kyle McGadlin does the wave for the Tigers. It's 17, 56, 33. Washington County's playing in the finals tomorrow night. Marez is steal against the Tigers. Down court to James. Loose in the paint. Now Holmes attacks with a lay-in good. Cooper Holmes has 21. Now the Tigers throw by 14. Back down court quickly. Seabold in a hurry. Had it tipped by Reed. Picked up by Marez. Now Reed has it in the backcourt. 435 to work. 50, 36. Here's Nordell inside. He gets the laying down. And now all of a sudden, Concordia is out to a 14-point lead. We've got a timeout on the floor. We'll take one here as well. You're listening to Clay Center Tiger Basketball on 100.9. Walls True Value has been selling Speed Queen washers and dryers for about two years now, and we haven't really tooted our own horn about it. We really haven't had to, as a three-year top-to-bottom warranty on parts and labor on the mechanical timer washer says a lot about it by itself. 
not to mention the five-year motor warranty and the 15-year transmission warranty. The digital model carries a five-year parts and labor warranty. If you want to know more, see these reliable 25-year rated machines at Wall Street Value in beautiful downtown Clay Center. Add big flavor to your next get-together with Subway Catering. Featuring good-to-go boxed meals with a side and freshly baked cookie, crowd-pleasing giant subs, and piled-high sandwich platters overflowing with flavorific choices. All made the way you say with everything you love. Subway Catering is simple, satisfying, with something for everyone. A great value for any budget. Visit Subway.com to order and let us take care of any occasion. Subway. Cater fresh. Some catering orders may require 24-hour advance notice. Play Center Tigers have battled and hung tough, shorthanded tonight. Ethan Rosine out of the lineup, unable to play. Dalton Altizer late in the day found out he would be unable to go. And so uh, they have really played shorthanded. And, man, they battled. They are down 16, though, now. Now Concordia gets the basketball back. Matthew James down court. is laying up and good. The lead's out to 18 points. And now Manny Morris comes up injured at the end of the play. Did not see what happened. You missed it earlier. Washington County winning over Solomon to advance to the Morris Championship game against Sacred Hearts. The final in that ball game tonight over in Washington. You heard Bill Casper keep us posted 56-33. Kyle McGatlin led the way with 17 points. Here the Tigers down 54-36 now with 4.06 to work. Lane Libby left and deep to Siebold. Back to Libby around right. Parker Folks looks at a three, not there. Now to Libby. Corner right. Siebold's going to look for a three ball right in front of the Tiger student section. Just comes up short. Allberg keeps it alive on the rebound, but they call a foul against Mason Allberg, and this will be a one and one chance on the other end for the Panthers. So the Tigers down to 3.53 remaining and now trailing by 18. This has been a heck of a ball game. The Tigers had it back within seven and with possession in the third, actually within five, and then just could not get over the hump there, and Concordia was able to answer. One and one chance, Ethan Bouchard, and he hits the first of the one and one. He has nine points, so he'll get another chance. Second free throw short. Rebound, though, to Cooper Holmes. He's got it back up and in. 23 now for Holmes. In the lead, 19. 3.45 to work here in the ballgame. With the basketball on top, good look from Libby inside the chest. Then now Allberg in the corner. Left three ball, his second of the night. Mason Allberg now has seven. His second three ball, it's 57-39. Down court, Concordia. James in the corner. Lobs it low, Nordell. Moves his way in the paint. No. Rebound battle for Albert comes up with it. So a three on one in for Mason, and now Albert brings down the defensive rebound. Back down court is Livy. Here's Folks on the left wing. Back outside, Seabold. Caleb looks right. Alberg, another three try. Bingo, his third of the ball game. Alberg now with 10. It's 57 42, and Mason Alberg is lighting it up tonight. Here's Holmes outside to Ethan Bouchard. Down to 243 to work. Tigers down by 15. Here's Bouchard against Folks. Tigers in the man to man. Down by 15. Now we've got a turnover. Five second force. Five seconds all forced by Parker Folks. So Washington County winning will face Sacred Heart for the substate title tomorrow night. At 7.30, this follows the Valley Heights Lady Mustangs, who will square off against Republic County at 6 p.m. Caleb Siebold with the basketball right wing outside to Libby. Left on the wing, Allberg has been red hot to Libby. Back right, it goes to Siebold. Ball fake and drive into the lane. Double pump, he is fouled, and Caleb Siebold will shoot two. But the Tigers not going away. Down by 15 with 205 to work and still battling.
at the line, Caleb Seabold had eight first half points, now making nine of the game. And one more charity coming here. 57 43. And the second one's up and down. Time out on the floor. Tigers trail by 13, still battling here on a Friday night in the Substate semifinal. Stay with us. We're back with more in a moment. Hey, folks, Bill Rice from the Green Team. We are blowing out some 2015 model years. We have a 2015 Grand Cherokee Laredo Deep Cherry Red, beautiful vehicle with the 18-inch wheel package, 36,785. The sticker price, we're going to sell it for 33,685. Save over $3,000 on this vehicle, or you can get 0% financing. So come check out this and our other 2015 blowouts at the Green Team, 802 West Crawford and Clay Center, or check us out on the web at greenteamcars.com. Every major construction project uses concrete in one form or another. From residential driveways to basements, patios and curbs, Midwest Products make great use of their ready-mix concrete. They operate four state-approved plants in Hanover, Clay Center, Lynn and Washington to meet the needs of residential, commercial or farm-related projects. Livestock slats, feed bunks, landscape rock and more are all available from Midwest Products. Give them a call for all your jobs that require ready-mix concrete. 800-371-2252. 800-371-2252. 205 remains. Tigers within 13. Full court pressure here for the Tigers. And we're going to foul in the backcourt against Clay Center. It'll put Dylan Reed at the stripe. They'll have a one and one chance. Tigers trying to battle in here. Chestnut, Seabold, Wybe. Three seniors on the floor. Ethan Rosine unable to go. He's in street clothes nice. Hard arrhythmia they're dealing with right now, and so I talked with him before the game. Just a great spirit about him, and still very positive, but so disappointed not to be able to play tonight. Dylan Reed knocks down the first of the one and one. It's his first point this evening. So it's Chestnut, Livy, and Seabold on the floor with Folks and Allbird. Second free throw is a foul called against Concordia. 201 remains here in the fourth, 58-44. It'll be Tigers basketball. Just the fourth team foul against the Panthers. The third on Ian Nordell. Seabold, right wing deep, Alberg. High post to Leiby. Back outside to Seabold. Now the Livey, long three on its way, just off the mark right side, and the rebound away to Cooper Holmes. Minute 44 remains here in this fourth quarter. Tigers down 58-44. Here's Holmes in the front court with the dribble against Livey. Holmes still with the dribble, five count on. Livey still in the position. There's a five-second violation. Five count was on the entire time. Cooper Holmes down on the sideline, the assistant coach up in arms. Coach Michael Rose still questioning, but it wasn't as if the official ever stopped flagging, and so Holmes forced into a turnover by the defensive lane Libby. 58-44, Tigers have it back down by 14. Mason Albert brings it into the front court. Right sideline to Lane Libby. Skip pass left, and Holmes takes it away. Holmes in transition. He will take it up and lay it in. He has 25 now. And now it's a 16-point lead for the Panthers. Libby. Oh, what a look inside. Chestnut. Yes, and a chance at a three-point play. Big Mo now with 11. And a three-point opportunity coming his way to add to the 11 points. What a left-handed bullet from Lane Magic Libby to set up Big Mo inside. Now Concordia is going to clear the bench. With a 14-point lead in a minute, six left in this contest. Morgan Chestnut at the stripe with 11 points now. And a chance to convert the old-fashioned three. Strong on the board. Rebound away to the Panthers. Tyler Stupka. Billy Bouchard will bring it up the floor for Concordia. Under a minute to work now. Tigers down 60-46. to Man to man they stay. Not wanting to foul. They're going to play strong defense. Kicked by Chestnut. 
And the possession goes to Concordia. Oregon Chestnut will come off. The senior will see his high school career come to a close. And what a performance tonight with 11 points as Atkinson and King will check in. Concordia has it from the sideline. Lobbed in low. And the lay-in up and missing. Foul is going to be called against the Tigers. It will be Garrett Lawrence to the line to shoot to. 14-point lead for Concordia. Remarkable battle for the Tigers playing shorthanded tonight. Keep themselves around here. At the line, Garrett Lawrence will shoot two. First free throw up, and it is strong. Adam Ebert to check in. They'll bring Caleb Siebel to the sideline. Another Tiger senior that closes down his career. Big Mo and the one-man press checking out. Of course, quick draw. Rosine already over there, unable to play tonight. Here's a rebound off the folks on the missed free throw. Atkinson Inneking will bring it up the floor. Corner right, it goes to Albert. The Ant-Man drives, kicks it in low to Ebert. Corner left, Livey three ball, just strong. Albert kept it alive for a moment. Folks has it, now taken back away by Bichard. 31 seconds left. Concordia brings it across. Bichard left and deep to the corner left. It goes down to Stupka. They lob it inside to Lawrence. Shot up and blocked. Rebound to Lawrence. Back up and fouled. And he'll get to the free throw line with a chance at a three-point play as the Tigers whistled for the call down inside the paint after the offensive rebound. Kevin Seabold and Brigham Glaves in for the Tigers, and that'll bring Parker Folks in. Another senior out lane, Magic Livey. Great careers for these four seniors as they see it come to a close here on a Friday night, and what an effort they gave. Tuesday against the Panthers, full-handed, led until inside of three minutes. Tonight, short-handed and still with a chance late in this game before the Panthers finally stretched it out. Eight seconds left. At Continuity with the dribble. The Tigers see if they get into the shot off or not. Here's Ebert. So Albert, three-pointer at the buzzer, is just off the rim. Final here, the Tigers... Drop a 63-46 decision, although much closer than that most of this ball game. 63-46, your final. Stay with us. We'll take a timeout. Come back to wrap things up here from the den after this. Spring is just around the corner. Have you started considering your options for the 2016 growing season? If not, now is the perfect time to contact your local Central Valley Ag field sales agronomist. CVA focuses on helping you select the best inputs and services to benefit your operation. Contact your nearest Central Valley Ag for more information. Central Valley Ag, growing agriculture together. Central Valley Ag, where the customer comes first. Patterson Healthmark Pharmacy and Clay Center is your durable medical equipment provider for bath aid safety, walkers, scooters, wheelchairs, and other supplies and products. They offer quality, durable medical equipment to care for yourself or your loved one at home. You can rely on them for unsurpassed value and service. Patterson Healthmart Pharmacy is dedicated to helping you find the right product and the right solution to make your daily life a little more comfortable and enjoyable with durable medical equipment. I was taking inventory when in walked. Bill, can I help you, Mr. Gates? I'm all about helping young entrepreneurs get started. And I heard about the Clay County EDG Young Entrepreneur Contest that will be judged on March 17th. I want to help these young folks brainstorm. How about these brightly colored 3M Post-it super sticky 3x3 notes? They can stick them all over the rooms. Great idea. We have two bold and beautiful assortments on sale. 12 pads per pack, only $19.99. Makes my creative juices start flowing just looking at them. Central Office Service and Supply Guy, I'll take 500 packs. This is Mallory with Farmway Co-op, and I have some news for our area graduating high school seniors. Farmway Co-op is offering five $1,000 scholarships to assist the further education of our Kansas students. Farmway Co-op is committed to improving, encouraging, and empowering the healthy development of our students, so make sure you apply today. Deadline is March 15th. Applications can be found at any Farmway location or download from www.farmwaycoop.com. Back again in the den. It is a final here, 63-46. The Tigers with the loss in their season. 27 from Cooper Holmes with all scores. 
Ian Nordell had 11, 9 from Ethan Bichard, 6 from Manny Marez on two threes. Tigers get 11 from Morgan Chestnut tonight, 9 in the first half. They get 10 from Mason Albert, 3 trays and a free throw. 9 points for Parker Folks, including one three-pointer. 9 points also for Caleb Seabold, 4 from Lane Leiby. Anthony Atkinson, any king with two points in the contest, the 63-46 final. Tigers, of course, see their four seniors. Uh, the season come to a close here. A terrific battle. Ethan Rosine, Dalton Altizer are both unable to go. Rosine, one of those four Tigers seniors uh, on the sideline, Altizer as well. But it's tough to see the, the season and especially career end that way. But what a performance throughout the year by Ethan Rosine in the loss here tonight against Concordia. The other three seniors certainly stepped up. Morgan Chestnut, 11 points. Caleb Siebold, 9. Lane Libby dishing it out. And with four points uh, all from the line, four or four from the stripe. And those four seniors have really dealt with a lot this year and battled and kept this team going. And a great battle last Tuesday, almost knocking off Concordia tonight. They were down seven after one quarter, down ten and a half, battled back and had chances in the fourth. And so Concordia finally stretched this thing out and finishes with a 63-46 final. Our thanks to those four Tiger seniors, Lane Magic Libby. Ethan, quick draw, Rosine, Caleb, one-man press, Seabold, and Morgan, Big Mo, Chestnut here on this Friday night. Stay with us. We'll take another time out, and when we come back, we'll look at what's to come tomorrow on KCLY with K-State and Substate basketball. Back in a moment. United Bank & Trust has been fulfilling the banking needs of families and businesses in Northeast Kansas for decades. United Bank & Trust is always advancing, and now they'd like to offer a free mobile deposit feature within the mobile banking app. Endorse, click, and submit your check image for deposit. It's a mobile fast world out there, and so is United Bank & Trust, the bank of your future. Visit our website at ubankonline.com or your local branch for more information. United Bank & Trust, banking for your way of life. Member FDIC, Equal Housing lender. Roundup Ready to Extend soybeans have received regulatory approval and are now available from Oldie Seed. You heard that right. Extend soybeans are now available to plant from Oldie Seed Farms. Extend soybeans are backed by the high yielding genuity Roundup Ready to Yield Trait to ensure you're getting maximum yield and performance on your farm. Call Oldie Seed to book your Extend soybeans today. This is 100.9 FM, KCLY Clay Center. Get Pulse Gigabit Internet from Twin Valley and make the whole house happy. Think about all the devices and internet activities in your house on a typical day. They probably add up to a lot more total broadband usage than you even had a year or two ago. If your speed is slow, you may be experiencing annoying slowdowns such as video buffering. Twin Valley Pulse can solve your problem. Call Twin Valley to sign up for Pulse Gigabit Internet and get it free for 60 days. Don't wait. Call today. When you shop Ray's Apple Market for fresh hand-cut meat, you'll find USDA Choice Meat. That means it's high-quality, tender, juicy, and flavorful. And it's the only grade of fresh hand-cut meat they sell at Ray's Apple Market. Whether you choose ribeyes, briskets, steaks, or roasts, you can buy with confidence that these are products of the USA. Get choice quality meats from the meat department at Ray's Apple Market and coming soon to your table. We're right on your way home. Back once again in the den. Let's take a look at what's coming your way tomorrow here on KCLY. We'll start with K-State Wildcat basketball going to Lubbock. They face the Texas Tech Red Raiders. That'll be a 2 o'clock tip-off, 1 o'clock pregame here on KCLY. Then we come back to the den. 6 o'clock is your tip-off. The Clayson Lady Tigers working their way back to the state championship. They have Chapman in their way, an NCKL sub-state title game. Tomorrow night tips off at 6 p.m. We'll also keep you posted on the Valley Heights Lady Mustangs. They are facing off tomorrow night against Republic County. And then Phil Casper will have live following our Lady Tiger ball game here from the den. We'll take you over to Washington, where Washington County boys dominate tonight against Solomon. They'll now take on the undefeated and number one seeded Sacred Heart Knights in the championship game at 7.30. We'll have that live on the air as well. So a triple header of basketball coming your way tomorrow here on 100.9. It's going to wrap up our coverage this evening. For Flip Casper over in Washington, our studio engineer, Bernie Pancello, this is Rocky Downing telling you to enjoy the rest of your sports Friday.